You pump the cough slowly. Hi guys. On today's how to do series, I do med health brings you how to check your BP in the comfort of your home using the manual signal manometer. First of all, you have your BP. You are using the manual manometer. This is the BP curve. You need your stethoscope. Okay, firstly, what is BP or high blood pressure? High blood pressure equally refers as hypertension is when your blood pressure is higher than normal. Risk factor of hypertension. One, obesity, eating salty food, not checking your blood pressure on a regular basis. There is this misconception that the BP must be checked in the left arm because maybe the heart is located at the left side. No, the blood pressure can be checked in both arms depending on the one which you are most comfortable with. Like me, I can check with both arms depending on my position on where my patient wants me to check him or her. It's equally important to know that the signal manometer can be used to check the high blood pressure, also to check the low blood pressure. Stay with me while I show you how to use the signal manometer to check your blood pressure from the comfort of your home. Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to use the signal manometer in the comfort of your home while checking my colleague. Okay, firstly, as I said earlier, you have your stethoscope, you have your signal manometer and the curve together. Firstly, your patient or someone which you want to check on have to rest for about five to 15 minutes. Make sure that their upper arm is accessible. No tight clothing or long sleeve. Watch carefully and listen to how I use my signal manometer to check my colleague. Firstly, I place the curve on her upper arm. You place your manometer and secure. Make sure that your stethoscope is working well. You tap the diaphragm to check if it has any sound. Place the stethoscope on the brachial artery, which is the artery at the upper arm. You pump the cuff slowly. till the pulse disappears. This is an indication to stop inflating the pulse. You deflate the curve slowly till the pulse appears. Like my colleague, which I'm using for an example, the number which I got as a systolic pressure is 140. You record this as your systolic pressure, which is the upper number. You deflate further till the pause disappears. That's the diastolic pressure. So I'm getting 70 as a diastolic pressure. Readings from the blood pressure which I checked on my colleague, I got 140 
as the systolic pressure and 70 as the diastolic pressure. You might wonder what systolic and diastolic pressure. Systolic pressure measures the pressure on the artery when the heart beats. While diastolic pressure measures the pressure on the artery when the heart is at rest. That's what we mean by systolic or diastolic or the upper or lower blood pressure. After checking the blood pressure, you fold the sphygmomanometer back into the bag to avoid rust or damages and place and place the stethoscope back into the bag okay the normal range for blood pressure 90 to 120 for systolic 60 to 80 for diastolic so if your blood pressure is below or higher this range you have to meet your doctor for further evaluation and recommendation okay guys anticipate for our next video on ideal med health thanks for staying with me and watching all through the episode see you next time ideal med health creating a healthy world